Despite the passing of regional efficiency standards, international code requirements for load calculations and equipment selection, tighter homes and duct systems, I can't see the likelihood of grossly oversized equipment going down. The significant problem at hand is that HVAC contractors are either going to use the system design process or not. Welcome back, I'm Chris Moore with HVAC Pro Blog, and this week I wanna talk about why four or five ton systems should all be multi-stage, or better yet, variable speed. Regional standards have pushed manufacturers into finding ways to make their systems more efficient. Other than variable speed refrigerant flow, I'm not sure what else manufacturers could do in order to increase the EER, or energy efficiency ratio. Here's a couple ideas. Maybe it's the forthcoming changes to refrigerants that we have coming in the United States. Everybody knows it's gonna to have to change over by 2025. With existing refrigerants, some manufacturers have actually stated that their tested EERs are lower than what it used to be with the old refrigerants. Their two-stage counterparts and even their single-stage equipment. Another idea is just everything moves over to EEVs or electronic expansion valves. We've seen an explosion of these in the trade already in order to maintain the lowest superheats possible in an HVAC system. And last but not least, even increasing the size of coils and condensers in order to pick up and reject more heat. Don't put this past them. It's quite possible those things could be even getting bigger. Now, all of these things is putting the burden on the HVAC contractor in order to find the space for installation or even the system that's going to be removing the amount of latent capacity needed for those homes, particularly in the northeast and coast. This gets compounded as the systems get larger and larger in capacity based on the needs of the homes. So I'm going to offer this. Why not make every four or five ton system variable capacity? This could address the oversized issues that we already see in our trade. A variable speed system can ramp down and deliver the cooling needs based on the demand of the home each day and each hour, if it's sized correctly and you can ramp down low enough, of course. There was a study done way back in 2006 by the Florida Solar Energy Center called Measured Impacts of Proper Air Conditioning Sizing. They took systems that were updated and measured the efficiency and how much energy savings there was even when they were oversized by 47 to 65 percent. Now what they found was there was still peak energy savings to the utility provider but think about what the energy savings could have been if it was sized properly. Hence the requirement for a lot of utility programs to require load calculations. But on those larger systems, what if they've required a multi-stage or variable speed system? What would the savings have been then? If we get this into the code, think about how it could impact the savings and the industry in the years to come. This could keep the focus for manufacturers away from bigger coils and significant refrigerant changes, only when required by the EPA, but still pushing them to properly size and commission the equipment. Yes, multi-stage or variable speed equipment costs more, so that's another reason you should be properly sizing your system so you don't artificially increase the cost of your bid, right? If you're at the kitchen table and you're actually offering a four or five ton system based on the real needs of the home, then the energy savings that you're explaining could be real. If the home actually needs a three ton system, and you're replacing a four or five ton system, think about the savings there. And of course, your bid's gonna be less than the guy replacing like for like. I gotta tell you, particularly in the Northeast, there are very few four or five ton homes, despite all of the systems you used to see out there. When I was working for a utility implementer, I did hundreds of inspections a year, and almost never did I see a four or five ton system. Now, that's probably because they actually required a load calculation, and the building code inspectors here, to varying degrees, actually look for it for a building permit. But putting a number on it, I'd say less than 10% of my inspections were larger than three tons. And if they were, they were almost always multi-stage or variable speed equipment. And those homeowners were comfortable with energy savings. So I have a proposal if you're an HVAC contractor in sales. Let's push for efficiency based on correct sizing and variable speed systems, not larger units and ridiculous condensers on the outside of our homes. Thanks for joining me this week. 
at HVAC Pro Blog, where we provide advice for residential system design, quality installation, and system diagnosis. I'll see you soon.